Okay, today we're going to look at ICE in car entertainment. How we can start, where we can upgrade from the standard factory speakers that most cars come with, and for around about £500 you can get the following components. 10 inch subwoofer, which will go in the boot in a box, your front speakers, your mid, your tweeter, your crossover, the main amplifier that will power both components, and all the necessary cables, RCAs, power cables, speaker wire, etc. This you'll be able to see in a car that we've done outside. Here we are in the car with our £500 upgrade, which usually starts with changing the head unit from the factory radio cassette to a CD player. With our components that we spoke of earlier, the mid would go in the door, the tweeter would go up on the dash, and the crossover would be hidden away somewhere. Now if we take a look in the boot, so in the boot we have our subwoofer, which is in a box, and this one has ports to give you more output. We have our amplifier, which will be mounted in the floor or on the back of the seat. And this can usually be done in one day, so you have your upgrade the same day. So we've seen the components and we've seen the installation. Shall we see what it sounds like? Okay, so we spoke about our £500 system. We'll look at a £2,000 system now, what you get for the money and why you're actually spending more. To start with, we'd go a higher upgrade on our CD player and something like the Alpine, which holds a single slot CD, has better components and will give you a better sound. With regards to your front speakers, we'll now change these for better quality, better made, and obviously more expensive, but will give you a better sound. Same components, a mid, a crossover, and a tweeter. With regards to the subwoofer, again, going up in specification will give you better handling and better sound. And then the most important would be your amplifier. The more power that you can have in your system, the better it's going to sound. And with this four channel from Extant, you'll get power to your sub and power to your fronts, where the one before was just a two channel. So for £2,000, you're getting a lot better components and a lot better power. Okay, so with better components in the front, like these, and better crossovers, better tweeters, this is what it's going to sound like. So although it's difficult to tell the difference between a £500 and a £2,000 on TV, with more power and better components you will get a better sound in your car when you're driving.